Here, Maddie, Maggie Adair in Porcock has a slightly more drastic style, Demolition. Yes, in the next of her dramatic series of films for The One Show, she's at the Red Road Flats in Glasgow, where one of the huge towers is about to come down. Problem is, there's only a matter of metres between the buildings. In the 50s and 60s, tower blocks were hailed as the answer to Britain's post-war housing shortage. Nowhere embraced them more than Glasgow, and none are more iconic than the Red Road Flats in Springburn. When opened in 1966, the Red Road Flats in Glasgow were some of the tallest residential buildings in Europe. Known as the super blocks, they housed 5,000 people. In their day, these giants were seen as beautiful and futuristic. But today, tower blocks are being brought down around the country. And one block at Red Road is next. But this tower is not going down without a fight. Blast engineer William Sinclair has found a huge challenge inside. What we actually found on any given floor is a complete mishmash and cocktail of steel columns. Some of the steel we're encountering here, its industrial strength is absolutely thick, thick, thick steel. Bringing down a building made from concrete is relatively simple. The shock wave from the explosion easily shatters the material, meaning the building can collapse and implode on itself. A steel structure is so rigid it has to be knocked over, like felling a tree. William's solution is to use two types of explosive. One to topple the steel girders over. This is our bomb box. It's a box with dynamite sticks in there, and that's what's our kicking charge. That'll actually shift the column out of position and another type of explosive to slice the steel in two, called a cutter charge. They actually form a molten jet of copper, there's a copper casing with explosive inside there, which will actually heat up and physically fire through the steel and slice it like a knife through butter. But William and his demolition team have another major headache. The neighbouring block is only 45 metres away and the tower is 80 metres tall. So how can they bring it down without hitting the other block? The frame of the building is made up of steel girders along the front, middle and back of the building. A third of the way up, William is going to take out the front and middle girders. On three floors, the explosives will slice through the steel and blow it outwards. The back girder remains to act as a hinge. The building first collapses down, reducing its height before toppling forward. This combination of explosives means that this building will topple that way, missing that building by 12 metres. Hopefully. A crowd of onlookers have come to see the end of these famous flats. But it's mixed emotions for fireman Finley Mackay. They were home for over 20 years. We had a fantastic time growing up here. Um, I couldn't say a bad word about the place. I'll be really sad to see it go because it's a link to your past and so I stayed up there with my mum and my dad, they're both now dead so it's, a, it's your kind of one of your final links going with your, your parents. But time is up for the Red Road Flats. A quarter of a tonne of explosives is ready to go. Well, that's a siren that's just gone off now and I really feel for the engineers on this one because it's a massive building and it has to come down incredibly precisely. You can really feel the tension. But as planned, it misses the other building by metres. Wow! I must say that took me by surprise. But it's it all shot across and then sort of collapsed. I'm, I'm really quite proud to be an engineer seeing that. I don't like looking at that blank space. Okay, I don't like you, it. You, you, you I'm back trying to really look at it. I, I'm a bit stunned at the speed of it. Demolitions don't get much bigger than this, but it marks the beginning of the end of these epic towers. One down, several more to go. You can't see that enough, can you? <laughs> you just want to keep replaying.